Welcome to church in that park in a main content and makes you smile like Gaming in the race it is what they do with fun and games for everyone too Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Right, this is No Man's Sky Worlds Part 1 Update. Right, this is Update 5.0 Worlds, Transforms Universe, Rich Wilder and more varied, uh, varied and immersive plays featuring huge leaps in water, diversity and more. Okay, you got the trailer and then you got another deep dive thing from Sean Murray. There's a lot in this update, right? A lot. It's a huge update, more than what people think, right? Right, right. That you can do engage in the galactic bug hunt, No Man's Sky's 14th community expedition. Vile blood is spreading corruption across the universe. Blah blah blah. blah. Right, I'll try my best to do this. Uh, there's exclusive awards, right? Mounted bug tro trophies, posters, organic armor parts. You'll see that later on in this video, right? For some reason, the uh, pictures didn't come up, right? Uh, your discoveries can be named at any time. Okay, you've got dramatic new worlds. Gravitational distortions have warped some of the lush tropical worlds, right? So, you know, the floating uh, islands and stuff like that. They've all had a revamp, like I'll show you here, right? So, I'm just going to zoom into some of these photos here. You'll see, right? Uh, and this is what they look like. They look absolutely incredible. Look at the floating islands now and all the graphical detail. Yeah, so it's been a massive, massive, massive uh, graphical update as this. I mean, it's huge, right? It's completely changed No Man's Sky for look, right? And you've seen the, the water as well. Exactly what I said in my thingy, water. Right, you've got new volumetric clouds, right? It's a total overhaul of clouds. So you've got different definition of clouds, wispy, citrus clouds, dark rain-laden clouds, uh, and there's loads of different varieties of the cloud types. So, you know, when you're flying your ship, you know, it looks like you're actually flying through normal clouds. The uh, ship customizer now has solar solar ships, but they won't be that good because there's not that many versions. Okay, there's only three versions of solar ships. Okay. Now then, they've got um, shadowing. Uh, casting shadowing before and after so there's shadowing being put in there right there's new high definition water put into it so you've seen the water right you wait until later on in this until you see this right now then this is what it looks like good god and can you see where it shows you the floating islands right in the sky my God, you can imagine putting a base on there. So I'm just going to zoom in and I will, we'll have a look. Right? Yeah. You can always go to nomansky.com and look at the uh, patch release. Right? But this is a 5.0. Right? So this is new creatures. We've got new creatures in the game. Right? Yeah. Loads of new creatures. Tons of new creatures. Weird ones like this one here. Right? Look at it. It's like a skeletal uh, creature, which is really, really 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 strange and i wonder if you can create it as a companion and i wonder if the companions work right we'll have to go into that there's a new wind system coming as you can see the wind howls now you've got fog you know you, the trees move it looks completely different to the water we've got dynamic dynamic water and wait for it we've got waves Yes, a wave will come in. Can you see the wave swelling up? Right? It'll come in and drench you. So look at that. Have you ever seen anything like that? So we've got that to come. Okay. We've got something to do with the uh, mech. Okay. And some Quicksilver items. I'll go into that a little bit more in depth. Right? Sub-Zero Worlds have had a, a, a complete revamp. They look completely different. So, you know, these snow planets which is a welcome sight because these snow planets were looking a bit drab. All the snow planets have been completely done now, right? You've got desert di diversity, right? So you've got, you know, different palms and stuff like that on desert planets. They look different, different buildings. We've got buildings as well, new buildings. And you'll see later on, I'm going to show you these new buildings that have come up. Sky colours have completely changed. So the sky and the clouds will look a bit more fuller. So 
it's the fullness is really nice in this you know it's really really good right as you can see absolutely beautiful right they've done a the right job of hello games now then we've got the expedition this is called liquidators right uh, it's uh, you get some organic armor right and gauntlets spurs and all sorts right <laughs> so you're running with the beetles right so you'll see not the beetles band right so visuals enhance performance environmental objects denser worlds improve levels of detail terrain generation loading speed you know it's just been absolutely done absolutely incredible right it, it looks like a completely brand new game right we've got new labels on things when you scan them by the looks of it the beat we've got beetle diversity we've got more beetles big beetles all over i don't know if these unlock after the expedition right but we've got all beetles water new creatures we've got dynamic storms as you can see here this is a brand new dynamic storm it'll just look incredible with the game when you play it right once you're playing it already okay i do apologize and pull up hay fever we've got new walker battles now where you've got a new uh energy bar on the walker we really needed that so when you're going against the walker you know when you've killed it you, you couldn't before right and then we've got the expedition awards where you've got the uh, organic jetpacks and stuff like that you know uh, the water color variety yeah there's different colors of water per planet we had that anyway right but it wasn't ripply like it is now okay we've got some more cooking stuff but nobody ever cooks in no man's sky so <laughs> you know it's just one of those things this is updates amazing we've got living buildings yeah this is what i wanted to show you we've actually got living buildings just watch this right we've got buildings on legs yeah buildings on legs i'm not joking you right buildings walking along the landscape good god right yeah <laughs> oh god yeah we've got your ship can now land on water i'll just show you these living buildings yeah they walk along the landscape have you ever seen anything like that right so we've got the um you can land on water now, which is handy. I've always liked that. You always had to get your uh, train manipulator out and make stuff, right? We've got base parts, which are a skylight type of thing to go on the top of your building. That's handy. We can have some fun with that. Atmospheric variety. So different atmospheric conditions. Vile insect queens, right? Yeah. So we'll have big queens. These will be on like... Um, you know, dis and I'd say dissonant systems probably, right? So it's been a full quality of life update, right? The biggest quality of life update I've seen so far for No Man's Sky. We've got new gestures and emotes, yeah. So you can get these gestures and emotes with Quicksilver. Cool, isn't it, that? Anyway, this are the, is the patch notes, right? Yeah, underwater bases have been done as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've got an underwater base, me. Yeah, it's spectacular. I haven't shown you all the patch notes, so if you want to go to uh, nomansky.com and have a look, okay? There's a load of PC-type stuff here. And there you go. And this is the update, right? It looks absolutely incredible. For all those people that like to take photos, you'll love this update. Graphically impressive. Unbelievable. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next. Tim and Bye.